Are you a property owner interested in generating revenue from solar farm development? If you are, you might be wondering, does my land qualify for solar leasing? First, let's talk about the requirements that many solar developers look for when assessing a property for a potential development site. Typically, 30 acres is considered a good amount of land to attract potential solar developers for a utility scale solar farm. The more acreage, the better, especially for receiving potential offers. Not all solar developers are searching for utility scale solar sites though. Some might be looking for community scale solar sites, which tend to be smaller and closer to distribution lines. Even if you have a property that you think isn't large enough for solar development, you should list it anyways. You could be missing out on potential solar lease opportunities. Another requirement is being close to electrical infrastructure. Substations, transmission lines, and distribution lines should be less than four miles away from your property. The closer, the better. Understanding how much acreage you have that is considered buildable is another important requirement. Landgate makes it easy for landowners through our free property report. There, you will see a breakdown between total acre amount and buildable acre amount with the exclusion zones explained underneath. Knowing how much of your property is available for solar panels to be built can make or break your chances for receiving potential offers. And lastly, many landowners don't know about the state government incentives for building solar farms. Many developers are looking for sites in states where the incentives are the best. Understanding your state's solar incentives can bring more offers to your property and give you a leg up during negotiations. Now, Let's go over how you can properly assess your property to understand its solar lease potential. Reviewing your buildable acreage is important so you can properly list your property. Understanding the amount of acres that are buildable compared to the amount that are in exclusion zones, like in a flood zone, have a high topography percentage, or if you have a lot of trees on the property can affect the solar lease value of your property. With our heat map view, Landgate's land app subscribers can utilize this heat map to see an estimate of the solar potential solar lease value your property has and how it stacks up to the surrounding properties. This heat map takes all the requirements renewable energy developers consider when searching for a site. Lastly, look for electrical infrastructure near your property. Keep an eye out for substations, transmission lines, and distribution lines. Now, Solar Leasing 101. When you decide a potential solar lease for your property is a way you'd like to earn an extra stream of income, you will enter a solar lease, and these can last between 20 to 40 years. A lot of landowners that enter a solar lease have two options, but only know about one. As a landowner, you can receive payments for those couple decades, or you can do a 1031 exchange and sell your lease payments for a lump sum upfront. This will help combat inflation in the long run. The process after signing the paperwork is separated into three different parts, the development phase, the construction phase, and the operations phase. During the development phase, also known as the option period, the planning, permitting, and regulatory matters are being handled between the energy developer and you, the landowner. This can take between one to five years, and during this time, the landowner can continue to use their property however they see fit. The lease payments during this phase, however, is a fraction of the actual lease payment amount that will be paid during the operations phase. During the construction phase is when the energy developer starts building the solar farm. During this, landowners can no longer use their property how they previously were. During the operations phase, also known as the production phase, the solar farm is actively producing energy and the landowner is earning the full lease payment amount. The last phase comes at the end of the solar lease, the decommissioning phase. This is where the solar developer will either negotiate to extend the lease or the solar panels and other structures will be removed from the property. The landowner does not have to remove the structures themselves. Finally, creating a listing. Landgate makes it easy for landowners to list their property for a solar lease by providing an online marketplace that reputable renewable energy developers are constantly searching for project sites. You can list your property for sale or for lease, 
for solar, wind, oil and gas, mining, and EV charging. And it's completely free. Your contact information will be included on any listings. So interested buyers and energy developers could contact you directly with offers. No middleman. You may be presented with top offers to purchase your property or lease your land, none of which you are obligated to accept. So what are you waiting for? Consider leasing your land for solar development and start generating extra revenue today.